Welcome to getting started with email merge for Outlook. In this video, we are going to show you how to send out personalized newsletters, invitations, holiday greetings, and other emails to your customers directly from inside Microsoft Outlook using your existing data. Let's get started. If you have downloaded and installed email merge, you should now have the email merge buttons inside your Outlook. If you don't see these buttons, close and restart Outlook and they should appear. Click the Email Merge button on the ribbon. The Email Merge menu shows you the different things that Email Merge can do. Let's start with the simplest and most important. Click on Create a new merge. You can either start with a blank email or make sure that your email will stand out by selecting one of the many professionally designed templates that are included in Email Merge. You can also use Email Merge's Templates Manager to save and reuse your own templates. In this demo, we are going to start with a blank email. You will get a chance to edit your email later. Click on Next. Who do you want to send your email to? Email Merge works with contacts in Outlook, Excel, Access, or any of these other formats. Most users have their contact list either in Outlook or in Excel. I will choose Outlook for this demo, but if your contacts are in Excel or Access, the process is exactly the same. If you need to, you can click on this button to choose the folder where your contacts are located. Click Next. Outlook displays all the contacts from your chosen folder. Select which contacts should receive your email simply by ticking the box next to each contact. To sort alphabetically, click on email address, full name or company name. The search box is also very useful for quickly locating a contact. Just type a few characters from the person's name and then select from the list. You will automatically be moved to the selected contact for you to tick. Click on Next. Here's a list of contacts that you chose to receive your email. You can choose to save this list of contacts as a category, making it easy to send them future emails. You can find more information on this on our tutorial video on using categories as a mailing list, but for now, Click back if you want to go back and add or remove contacts, or click next to continue. On this screen, you can specify what will appear in any given data field in case it is empty. Click next. Here is the preview of your email. Since we had started with a blank email, there is nothing here. Let's go and write up our email. Make sure go to email is selected and then click on next to be taken out of the wizard and into the actual email in Outlook. From here, you can customize the text in the email any way you like. You can add text, pictures and formatting, etc. You can even add attachments to the email. Let me write up the email quickly. Email Merge will send a separate copy of the email to each person with only their name in the To field. If you want, you can personalize each email with each contact's details. How will Email Merge personalize your emails? You can customize your emails by adding fields to both the subject line and the email body which Email Merge will then replace with the contact details. Place the cursor where you want the field to be added. On your Outlook ribbon, you will see the Email Merge Pro for Outlook. Click on the Insert M Field drop-down arrow and select the field you want to add. Here it is. Let's add another new field to the email body. Place the cursor in the right spot. Click on the drop-down and select the field to be added. Add as many fields as you like and then click on Resume Email Merge when finished to be taken back to the previous screen in the wizard. 
Click on Show Preview in larger window to get a better look. The preview shows you who each email will be sent to and all personalization and formatting. Click on the arrows to scroll back and forth between the different contacts. So you can get a preview of how your email will look to each person who receives it. Some of the recipients will probably be reading your email on their phones. Click here to see how the email will look on smartphone screens. When finished, click on Close, then click on Next to continue on with the wizard. When do you want to send your email? Click on this link and then choose whether you'd like your emails to be sent out right now or to schedule the email to be sent out in the future. Click on this link and then choose whether you'd like to send all emails at once or if you'd like to break them down into smaller groups and how often. Click Next. You can use Email Merge to send emails to customers from any of the accounts that you have set up in Outlook. Now, you can go ahead and send the email or choose to have them created and saved in the Drafts folder for viewing and editing. You might want to use this option in case you have sensitive emails or emails that you might want to add some additional information to. Do you want to know when someone has opened or clicked on a link in your email? You can track your merge by ticking here and giving this merge a name. If you choose to track your merge, you will be able to see exactly who has opened it or who has clicked on a link in your emails. You can also use that information to do follow-up merges directly from email merge. Tracking in email merge gives you a lot of powerful options that you can learn more about in a separate video we have on the subject. Click Finish and then click OK. Your emails will now be created and sent out as per your instructions. Email Merge is the fastest, easiest and safest way to send out personalized emails to your customers directly from inside Microsoft Outlook. This video should be enough to send your first mail merge out today. Remember to check out additional tutorial videos at this link for more advanced features. And if you're not a user yet, you can download a fully functional trial of email merge from our website today.